Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the discrete time Fourier series of the pulse train. Discrete time Fourier series of discrete pulse train. Discrete. Uh, here we uh, pulse train means basically a series of unit samples. So discrete pulse train, or we can also call it as discrete impulse train. So that means we have p of n, which is equal to one for n is equal to zero and is equal to zero for n not equal to zero for uh, period of n equal to d where d is the fundamental period of the signal that is d is the fundamental period this is the fundamental period that means graphically this p of n can be represented as follows so we have one at n equal to zero and we have zero zero and so on and then we have another one at d plus one at d and then we have f uh, again d minus one zeros and then we have another one and so on that is we have a zero uh, at zero we have one and at d we have another one and at 2d we have another one and so on so that is the uh, pulse train that is uh, it has one only for n equal to zero or n equal to d or n equal to 2d so it's a periodic signal and the value of the signal p of n this p of n is defined as uh, at n equal to zero it is one and not equal to zero it is zero that is in the fundamental period so this is the this is the definition of the signal in the fundamental period now this is the representation of the signal that is it's a periodic signal now we want to find the discrete time Fourier series for this signal so in the fundamental period the value is only equal to one for n equal to zero and zero for n not equal to zero so we are going to exploit that uh, nature so the discrete time Fourier series of a given signal p of n or any signal is defined as the summation over the fundamental period c k e power j 2 pi n k over capital n and this value c k is given by 1 by n that is the fundamental period and then p of n summation over p of n e power minus j 2 pi n k over capital n so that is the definition of the coefficients so for uh, given p of n with period equal to d the c k will be equal to 1 by d summation over the f uh, interval of length d and then p of n e power minus j 2 pi n k over capital d so that is the uh, definition of c k now for this given p of n this is 1 by d so we have the summation or the interval of length equal to d so mm, then for n equal to 0 p of 0 is 1 and then e power 0 that is uh, n is equal to 0 means e power 0 is 1 and then p of 0 uh, and then p of 1 p of 2 until p of d minus 1 are all 0 so the, all the next terms in the summation are zeros and so on so finally ck will be simply equal to 1 by d therefore the discrete time Fourier series of the pulse train p of n is 1 by d where d is the length of the uh, where d is the fundamental period of this uh, signal so summation over an uh, interval of length d and then e power j 2 pi n k over capital d so that is the discrete time Fourier series of the pulse train p of n so to summarize we have looked at the discrete time Fourier series of the discrete pulse train so here we the pulse by pulse train we mean that in the fundamental interval the p of n uh, we mean the signal p of n so the p of n is defined as the value equal to one at any in the fundamental period and it is a periodic signal with period equal to d so graphically it can be represented as follows that means p of n is equal to one at n equal to zero at n equal to d n equal to 2d that is any multiple of d and zero everywhere else so to find the discrete Fourier series we use the definition so p of n by its definition is equal to summation over the uh, length n where n is the fundamental period uh, in this case it is equal to d so summation over n c k e power j 2 pi n k by capital n so since n is equal to d c k is 1 by d summation of p of n e power minus j 2 pi n k by d that is the definition of the coefficients and since p of n is 1 only for n equal to 0 and 0 for all the other d minus 1 values so the coefficient c k is simply 1 by d so therefore the discrete Fourier series of p of n is 1 by d summation e power j 2 pi n k d over the values of uh, k from 0 to d minus 1 thanks for watching